Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on Google Classroom's integration with Google Calendar. So let's start. This is a classroom that was used during the 2019-2020 school year. And what you are looking at right now is the classwork, a teacher's classwork tab view. To the right, you can see you have two options, class drive folder and the Google Calendar. I'm going to go ahead and select Google Calendar so you can see what that looks like. So your own personal Google Calendar will open up when you select that option. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my personal calendar and you can see that the calendar of the classroom that I just clicked on is checked off. Now, Google Classroom creates this calendar on your behalf automatically. So you may not even know that in your Google Calendar, underneath your name will list calendars associated with every Google Classroom you are a teacher of. If you are a member of a Google Classroom, so you're a student, they would be listed under other calendars. So here, because this is the only calendar that's checked off, you'll see that there's nothing appearing for August. However, if I back this up to June, then you can start to see certain things populate and back it up even further. Um, the assignments in Google Classroom, so in the Classwork tab, when you utilize all the details of an assignment regarding title and attachments, potentially, um, but definitely the due date and maybe even a specific time, that will automatically post to the Google Calendar. So if I look here at May 12th, you can see this assignment 4.5. If I click on that and expand it further, you'll see that there's a link that will take me right back to assignment 4.5 in Google Classroom. And you can see the classroom that that post is associated with. Now, if I had time stamped when that assignment needed to be completed by, let's say like by 10 p.m., that would make the assignment look just a little bit different on May 12th. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this link just so you can see how it will redirect me back to this assignment in Google Classroom. And there we are. If I were to edit this assignment now, because again, I'm the teacher and I can do these kinds of things, um, I am going to add a time, let's say 10 p.m. because we do frown on midnight deadlines. I'm going to go ahead and update and save. And go back over to Google Classroom and you can see here now um, that the assignment 4.5 is now due at 10 p.m. So you can see how the Google Classroom, how it spoke to the calendar was a banner to, to begin with because it was considered kind of an all day assignment to a bullet point with a specific time stamp. Now, let me open up a different assignment. Um, so we just clicked on the Google Calendar here. You also have the option to access a calendar here. I'm going to go ahead and select that view. This brings us, this does not bring us out of Classroom and into Google Calendar, but rather it stays within Classroom. So here you have the ability to filter through your classes and you can work your way back in time. Again. Um, 
the assignments for this student in this particular class are all due Friday, October, I'm sorry, <laughs> August 28th. And so you can see all of these assignments are listed here. And again, just like the Google Calendar details, if I click here, it will bring me to that assignment. Everything is a hyperlink. So two ways to utilize the Google Calendar in Classroom. So again, either through the calendar view in Classroom or the calendar view inside the Google Calendar. Now, if you plan on assigning everything through Google Calendar and always assigning a due date for everything in Google Classroom, sorry, then that's all you need to know. But as an English teacher, not everything I assign for homework is a post in Google Classroom. So for instance, if I have a reading assignment for my students, then I will also post those assignments on my Google Calendar. So here for March 2nd, you can see for class on March 2nd, I'm asking my eBlock to read chapter one. So that's not an assignment in Google Calendar. I manually inputted that assignment. So how do, how do my students see that if they're not accessing my, if they're not accessing their own Google Calendar? Here is the power user tip. Each calendar has its own set of settings. So here's those fancy three vertical dots. I'm going to click those. You can designate a color to that calendar. And I'm going to go ahead and look at the settings and sharing for that calendar. I am going to make sure that the calendar is public. So access permissions are, are public. Then I am going to go ahead and copy this public URL to this calendar. So I'm going to go ahead, control A or command A, copy. And that URL is what I will share with my students. I will share with their families. And what does that look like? I always test this by using an incognito window because it tests permissions. I'm not logged into anything here. So this should this calendar should open up for me because I've determined it to be publicly accessible by anyone with the link. And there we go. So there is the public view of my classroom's Google assignment calendar. So again, let me back this up to June when we were still in session. And you can see what my students saw. They would see the assignment. If I click on it, it expands it, um, in, which includes the direct URL back into Google Classroom. Um, it has all the information. If I hit more details, it becomes a hyperlink. Um, you can also see, um, you know, the scheduled meets that we had for for the class, and if I again, back this up to when we were face to face in March, you can see that I added reading assignments and my students had access to this calendar um, with regards to not just Google Classroom assignments, but also assignments that were not posted in Google Classroom. Um, so I hope you find this information helpful and I know that it's a bit cumbersome, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to talk about Google Calendar all day. It's probably my most used app, both personally and professionally. Thanks for watching.